Hello everybody, it's Vimesy here uh, from the Mature Game Podcast Bits and PCs. Uh, after the success of my last video on Next Car Game, uh, success may be overrating it slightly, um, I thought I'd do one on a slightly more serious game. This is another early access game off Steam um, by the name of Assetto Corsa. Um, this is quite a, a premium um, game, I suppose you call it, because of PC release, especially on early access. We're talking it's about 30 quid. I picked it up for about 20 when it was on um, on special. Uh, worth every penny, in my opinion. It really is. Uh, I don't do racing games. That's the first thing to say. I'm not very good at them. I don't really like them. I don't, I don't enjoy them enough to spend time on them enough to get good at them. Uh, all my racing games in the past have really been on console. So we're talking Forza, we're talking the GT games, we're talking uh, PGR, etc. And I've kind of played them for a week or so and then got very bored of them very, very quickly. So I've never really engrossed myself in, 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 the, in the genre. This game's got something different. I keep coming back to it and I, I can't quite put my finger on what it is. Um, one is it's absolutely stunning. It's a, it's a beautiful game. It really is lovely. And it, um, it feels it too. Now, I'm going to say a little thing or two. I'm just going to start a race off so you can actually get some in-game... Um, in-game footage of this. I've turned the sound right down, but one thing to say straight away is the um, it's phenomenal sound in this game. It really is. If uh, you, you get the spit of the gravel in, in the wheel arches when you go off-road, which I do quite a lot, you get the, 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 the engine sounds are just stunning. It's just, oh, sound design this is awesome. But anyway, I digress. As <laughs> you would expect anything less. Um, yeah, this, this is... Uh, I don't know what it is about this game. It's got some kind of soul that... Um, just seems to have kind of grabbed me in uh, and I must say a little bit about this what, what this might be down to is the fact that I'm uh, I'm now using a wheel to race with and I do have to say this um, if you are any fan of the racing genre if you have any intention of racing for any amount of time uh, a couple of hours a week anything like that do yourself a favor and get yourself the best wheel you can possibly afford um, it really does make a difference. The level of immersion, the level of enjoyment you're going to get out of your racing games is is just going to be so much better. Um, I picked this wheel up. I'm riding with a, a Logitech uh, GT driving force. I think it is. It's uh, you know a, a kind of it's not a budget. It's kind of a mid range wheel. I guess you'd call it. I don't know. Um, uh, my man Smidgey got it for me for off a mate of his for about fifty quid. I think it was second hand or whatever works absolutely fine. I mean, I can feel everything. I can feel changes in the track. I can feel um, if I go, you know, if I hit the curbing or anything like that, you can feel it. So if you can hear my rattling wheel, uh, that's just part of the realism. Uh, but also what it does is things like, you know, the little things like when I come into a corner like just then, if I'm heavy on the brakes, my steering really tightens up, um, as you'd expect it would do. You know, you're putting a lot of load on those front wheels. Um, the steering is going to be harder to steer, and it just, it just does that with a plomb. Um, so, you know, maybe my half of my love of this game is the fact that I'm using it with a wheel. You can use keyboard, I can't quite understand why you would, or you can use a gamepad with this particular game. Um, and it's just absolutely stunning. Um, if you look in the detail in the mirrors, if you look in the detail uh, of, the, of the scenery itself, if you look at the fact, you know, the shadows, sunlight coming through the windows and such forth, it just, it smacks of quality. Um, you know, the, the fact you've got smearing on the glass, all sorts of things and, and, and like that. The game itself is single player only at the, at the moment, um, but there is a multiplayer mod being, hang on, just squeeze through here, uh, a, a multiplayer a patch being levelled at it in a couple of weeks' time, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, it's, it's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, so much so that I'm, I'm enjoying my time with it so much that uh, even though I'm not <laughs> getting any better at it, I'm seriously considering getting my own seating rig. That's how much I'm enjoying it. Um, just beautiful. So if uh, if you're interested at all in this game, uh, just just try it out. Uh, pick it up. Like I say, it's quite expensive for a, for a, an early access game, but with the amount of content they're talking about bringing to it, plus the multiplayer element of it, it's just going to be. It's just going to be amazing, uh, and uh, you really will enjoy it if you're any fan of the racing game, or well, even if you're not. If you know, I, I guess I don't know what I'm saying. It's just it's got that something that just pulls pulls me into it, um, and I'm just loving it. So I'm going to leave it here, and I'm going to try and better my rather pitiful fifth out of twelve here. And um, yeah, I'll catch you catch you later. Bye.